Before you start your Halloween festivities and trick-or-treating, we thought we'd get in the spirit this morning by exploring one of Michiana's most historic locations for ghosts. WSBT 22's Alex Elich joins us this morning from the lobby of the Lerner Theater. Alex, good morning. Good morning. That's right. We are in the lobby of the Lerner Theater. And I mean, this place has history dating back to the 1920s. So it's filled with history. So naturally, we thought there has to be some, you know, paranormal phenomenon kind of lingering around here. So this week, we decided to go on a little ghost hunt. And we didn't call Ghostbusters, but something a little bit different. We actually called the Michiana Paranormal Investigators. And it's an unlikely team, a police officer and a medium, just to name a few. But they share a passion for finding ghosts and trying to explain the unexplainable. So we combed through the Lerner Theater, going behind the stage, above the theater, using ghost hunting tools that look for electronic magnetic fields. And finally, we decided it was try time to try to talk to the ghost that might be there. We did an EVP session, otherwise known as an electronic voice phenomenon, and we asked it questions and waited to potentially see if the answers would show up on the tape recorder later. The investigators took all the pictures and evidence, and they're looking at it right now to see if we actually did find a ghost. And coming up later in the show, we will We'll tell you if we did find that ghost and let you know with all our findings and we'll talk to the Michiana Paranormal Investigators team and let you guys know what happened. Kristen? All right, Alex, now you are actually partly dressed up this morning. Tell me a little bit about your costume. That's right, I am. I'm really, really glad you noticed. This is actually a bona fide Gryffindor scarf. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of like a hum Hermione Granger, Harry Potter-esque character. I wasn't going to draw the scar on. I thought that might be a little bit too much, and I left my glasses at home. I'm saving that for later tonight. But yes, it is a legitimate Harry Potter scarf. So um, if you want to have a spell duel or anything like that, <laughs> just let me know because I'm, I'm ready for you. Maybe later at the Lerner Theater, we'll hang out with the ghosts and have a spell, spell duel. <laughs> Alex Elich, live at the Sounds Lerner perfect. Theater this morning. Thank you. I'm here at the Historic Lerner Theater where we went ghost hunting. And coming up, I'll tell you if we found anything. Time now is 8.07. Today is the spookiest day of the year where it's not uncommon to see ghost decorations. But to get in the spirit of Halloween, we thought we'd try to find... A real ghost. WSBT 22's Alex Elich joins us now at the Lerner Theater. Alex, who did you call to help find these ghosts? Well, Kristen, we didn't call Ghostbusters. We actually called Michiana Paranormal Investigators, where we did a ghost hunt right behind me at the Lerner Theater. It's one of the most historic areas in the Michiana area. So we thought something has to be floating around here. But the question is, did we find anything? It's a building in Michiana filled with history dating back to the 1920s. You would assume ghosts might be floating around, right? Well, just to double check, we called the modern day Ghostbusters. Yes, they exist. It's a team of Michiana paranormal investigators. We like to investigate claims of paranormal activity. And paranormal activity doesn't necessarily just mean ghosts. It means, hey, something's happening. We can't explain what's going on. Um, and we've tried looking at other reasons. We can't figure it out. So they call us in and we have all our equipment that we can uh, bring with us. Price and his team try to explain the unexplainable. His team is a psychic and another who helps with equipment, like an EMF meter that measures electric magnetic frequency. We started by walking around the Lerner Theater, taking pictures and measuring frequencies to see if anything popped up. And then psychic Rick Bunch got what he calls a postcard. They're just flashes, if you will, imagery. And um, I just felt like I, or someone at one point in time maybe had, uh, for whatever reason, um, maybe it was security, stopped and, or would take turns or they had a place to crash. There was just a feeling of being able to sleep here. We continued to walk around the historic theater searching for what we couldn't see and decided it was time to talk to this elusive ghost. So we did an EVP session, which is an electronic voice phenomenon. You turn on a tape if recorder and ask the ghost questions, here, here, and their answers will be picked up on the recorder and their forward. energy on the EMF meter. Well, after we go to the investigation, we pull off and we will uh, review the evidence that we caught, and that includes video, um, everything we wrote down with our notes where the EMF uh, was spiking or if it didn't. Did we find anything on our hunt? Guess you'll have to find out. 
All right, so I know that was a bit of a tease, and we didn't actually say we, if we found anything, but the Michigan Paranormal Investigators are going over the evidence right now to see if we did find a ghost on our ghost hunt. So we'll tell you guys that later in the show. Live at Learner Theater, Alex Elich, WSBT 22 News. Can't wait to see what you find. It's 847 on WSBT 22, first in the morning Saturday. Coming up, a look at the top stories of the morning. Plus... I'm WSBT 22's Alex Elich, and look, we have all these ghost hunting tools that we use to do ghost hunting at the Lerner Theater here, including this one. Coming up, we'll finally reveal if we found a ghost here or not. Just talking about ghosts and goblins on this spooky day, we thought we'd go out and actually try to find them. WSBT 22's Alex Elich joins us now from the Lerner Theater. Alex, you went on a ghost hunt. What did you find? We did, Kristen. We went on a ghost hunt here at the Lerner Theater where it has history dating back to the 1920s. So we thought, you know, th there's got to be something floating or walking around here. And here with me now is the team that went on the ghost hunt with me, the Michigan Paranormal Investigators. So you guys, we got to reveal it now. Did we find anything? You've gone over all the evidence. What'd you find? Well, we did find some spikes in the K2 meter, which is this meter on the uh, table here, the gray box, back on the right side of the stage. But that in itself isn't enough to really say it's really haunted, but it is something that you know we definitely need to look into a little further. Sure, and now we have all these really, really cool tools here. So what tools, um, I know you mentioned the EMF meter, what other tools did we use on our ghost hunt? Uh, we used the uh, EMF detector, uh, the K2 meter, and we actually used uh, the digital recorders, which will uh, pick up uh, the EVPs that we're looking for. But unfortunately, we really didn't catch much uh, here this time. Sure. So um, speaking of EVPs, what, what is an EVP exactly and, and how do you go about doing that? Uh, an EVP stands for electronic voice phenomena. What it is, it's a noise, sound, or um, audio that's picked up at the time, but you don't hear it, but you will, when you play the recorder back later, you'll hear it um, on that device. And you can do it on an iPhone or recorder. It doesn't have to be a fancy uh, digital recorder, but it's just something that you will hear later on that you don't hear at the time of the recording. Mm -hmm. And um, I know we're kind of trying to get in the spirit of Halloween here. What has just been in all of your history of doing this, the craziest thing that you've ever seen in your ghost hunting experience? Well, or heard, I should say. <laughs> um, we were at the State Theater uh, last year, and we had um, some great EVPs on the stage there. And we had a light fall off of the uh, railing in the lower basement, and that was something that uh, was a great piece of uh, video evidence that, to this day, we still haven't matched. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we did talk about some, some of these other tools before, and I was a little bit curious about these. So, um, what exactly are these again, and what do they do, Rob, if you well, want to... They're, they're dousing rods, uh, basically. They're just a manual version of electronic equipment. You just you use these, and it's the same process of asking questions and getting answers. Um, that's pretty much that simple. It's, uh, there's a little bit of a technique to use in these, but they actually do work. And um, this is a bit of an ambiguous question, but why do these ghosts usually linger around, you know, theaters? Well, I don't know if it's necessarily theaters. It's just about everywhere. It could be, this could be a favorite place uh, for them. It could have been some, somewhere where they worked um, or somebody that used to own the place. It could even go back to before where uh, the building was here, so. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so, so much for joining us. Thank you to the Michiana Paranormal Investigators for being here today. So like they said, we did see some spikes in the EVP. So maybe something was, hair, was there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the Lerner Theater is haunted, which is a little unfortunate, but <laughs> I was sort of hoping for that selfishly. Depends on who but you But thank ask. you guys so much for joining us again. And live at the Lerner Theater, Alex Elich, WSBT 22 News.